What's going on, everybody? Welcome back. We're going to do another Guilds of Ravnica Allegiance gate crash draft here on Magic Arena. We're doing MTG Arena now. Because, really, we got to mix it up a little bit. So we're going to. And... Yeah, all right. Oh, Endraise Forerunners. We're going to actually take this Gatebreaker Ram as the first pick. Because I think it's very strong. It's a very strong card. I don't know if you guys knew that about Gatebreaker Ram. It's, uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's a spicy boy. And I think it's better than the 7 drop. Could take Clear the Stage. It would probably trigger with Gatebreaker Ram. Could also take Fairy Duelist or Galloping Lizrog. I could also just take Guildgate. This is where we are in our life. Magic's hard. Boy, let me tell you, sometimes you just don't know what to take, you know? Could be this, could be this, could be this, could be this, could be this. <laughs> Fairy Duelist is nice because it stays on Simic. I don't think it's the strongest card in the pack. I think it's, I think it's pretty strong, though. This Guildgate is actually terrifying. This is the first time I've ever actually looked at this art up close. That is not... That's not a reasonable Guildgate. Alright, we gotta make a choice here. We don't have to. There's no time limit. We can just hang out here for... Tell me about your days. You can talk about... Talk about your life. I like Clear the Stage a lot. I think it's good if you can get the big creatures. I wanna take Clear the Stage. It's a removal spell. It's solid. Gateway Sneak. Sultai is not really an option in this set, but, uh, you know, Simic is, and, yeah, okay, we'll take the gateway sneak. Oh, a Geyer Engineer, also a Simic Guildgate, because there's not going to be any black, green, or blue, or, uh, black, green, or black, blue dual lands, guild gates in this pack, so... It's going to be rough. We can actually put this over here for now, and we'll kind of stick to... I think Engineer is better than this one Simic Guildgate. Titanic Brawl is also very, very good. I think we have to decide whether we're going full-on guild gates, g -g 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 gates, or if we're going to just try to take Simic good stuff. Oh, just another day. Just work, just working, listening to me as as I do. Oh, Gate Colossus. All right, now we're now we're talking. Now we're talking. Gateway Plaza. Okay, that's got a gate. Uh, oh, Titanic Brawl. Yeah, all right, we're gonna take that over the Orzhov Gate. Growth Spiral. That's like two gates in one if you can if you get them. Steeple Creeple. Steeple Creeper. Steeple Creeple. I want to say Steeple Creeple because that's how. That's how mouths work. Steeple creeple. However, uh, nay. This guy's good. Gross spiral also good. I think we're gonna go with the gross spiral here. Oh, Simic Guildgate. I'll take it over the Titanic roll. I don't love it, but we'll do it. Oh, the Lizrog came back. Azorius Guildgate could be good. We're gonna take a second Titanic roll. Azorius Locket. I choose you. I really don't like Axe Bane Beast. It doesn't trigger any of the things that want four power. It doesn't trigger any of the cards. Uh, it just it just dies to all the four fours. Eh, Priest of Forgotten Gods. Applied Biomancy is nice. Titanic Brawl is nice. Gruel Guild Mage Guild Gate is nice. This wall is uncommon. That's fascinating. Interesting. Interesting. I don't care about the quench. It's I, We already have two brawls. I don't care about the brawl. I think it's... It's either Applied Biomancy or Gruel Guildgate here. I think I'm just going to take the Guildgate. Kaya's Wrath. That is aggressive. Savage Smash is very, very nice. And we can probably get another Gruel Guildgate. We just did Teamer, but uh, the Teamer worked out well. 
We also have a Rakdos and an Azorius Locket, and we can clear the stage. We're not going to clear the stage, but we could. We're not going to. But we could. We're not going to. We could also take High Alert and lean towards white instead of red. Hmm. These are the decisions we have to make here. Magic is hard. Magic is a game of uh, lots of choices. It's either one of these three. I don't know which, though. It might just be Smash. But we have two Titanic Brawls, so I'm not super leaning towards that. High Alert is nice to build around. We also do have Axebane Guardian and Gateway Sneak already, which kind of... Uh, get a boost from this but I'm going to lean towards Gruel Guild Gate because I want to maximize my Guild Gates uh, Steeple Creeper and another Gross Spiral huh? Creeper is another 3 drop of which we have a good amount already Gross Spiral is nice with Guild Gates because you can, yeah we'll just take the Gross Spiral oh double Gate Colossus, is that too many Gate Colossuses? I don't think so I'm I'm all I'm all aboard the the Gate Colossus train. Uh, I like Senate Griffin. It's fine. Actually, I might like Rubble Slinger a little better, but mm. two three versus three two. I'll take the, I'll take the three two for now. The Scry is relevant. Oh, Gruel Guild Gate again. Or we can take an Open the Gates, Open the Gates. We have four guild gates. I think we just want to maximize the guild gates, I'll be honest with you guys. Oh, okay. Oh, well, now I'm going to take the open. Is this the Excel creature? Put a 3 3. Actually, this is probably better. That's some solid removal. Mm -hmm. I like Stony Strength. It untaps things for, like, if you have summary judgment, it's nice. Wow, another, another Titanic Brawl. That would be three. I think two is my limit. The high alert came back? Get out of here. You don't even deserve to have that. Prying eyes. Prying eyes. I'm watching you. They say your every move, baby. I think it might be Biomancer's familiar. It's a two drop, but it also like makes all your uh, scorch marks good too. I'm gonna take the biomancer. It's a two two for two, which is fine. But then like being able to adapt. I'm going to take a Gruel Spellbreaker because that's pretty good. Eyes Everywhere is nice. Flames could be busted, right? Deals 4 damage to a creature. Then it deals 2 damage to each other creature if you control... God, is Flames just insane? It costs 6. That is a bit much, but it's really good. Or we take a 4-4 four, four for 3, which is very strong as well. I don't know. I don't know what to take here, guys. This is actually tricky. Also, there's these weird moments where I feel like the chat just dies. Because, <laughs> like, no one says anything for, like, four minutes, five minutes. And I'm asking questions and things. And, like, I'm like, oh, God, I think we're just, I think the stream just died. Yeah, I'm going to go with Spellbreaker here. I like Applied Biomancy. All right, we'll just take... We don't have an Applied Biomancy yet. I think it's pretty good for us. Wow, we can have double Gyre Engineers. Styrofoam Hybrid is pretty good, especially because we have... Uh, Biomancer's familiar. 
The funny thing is we actually don't have any creatures that really go with the Biomancer's Familiar yet, which is kind of awkward, but it's still fine. I'm not responding because you know how Chris giving advice about draft magic works. I've, I've heard of this. I've heard of this. One, two, three, four, five, six. So we actually have 19 playables right now. I'm going to take this guy. I would love the guild gate, but... Oh, a biogenic upgrade. Wow. Okay. Um, well, that card's busted. So we're definitely taking that. I would love the Aeromunculus or the Simic Guild Gate. Maybe one of them comes back. Maybe. Uh, Gross Spiral number three. My deck looks rad. Immediately go 0-3, not winning a single game. This game is stupid and I hate everything about it. Chris, that is your entire magic experience. And yet here you are. You keep coming back. I don't want a third growth spiral, but I don't care about a rubble belt runner either. So I don't want a third titanic brawl either. I'm just going to take the gates of blaze for the sideboard. Okay, this is... Oh, Swirling Torrent? Yes, please. Yes, please. Another Gruel Guildgate and our first Mammoth Spider. All right, this actually... This actually perked up a little bit. I'm going to I'm gonna hope at least one of those guild... Oh, wow. The rich get richer, ladies and gentlemen. I'm going to hope at least one of these Guildgates comes back on the wheel, but... I'm not, I'm not feeling good about it. I'm feeling better about it. Okay, okay. Wow, Gross Spiral. Last pick Guildgate, one time, one time. Dang it, Roots, dang it. Seems good. I mean, you still got six, I think. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, that's great. This is 41 cards. We actually need one cut. What am I not thrilled about? The Simic Locket, most likely. Creature count? 15. All right, looking good. <coughs> I'm a fan of everything in this deck now. This has actually worked out well. Yeah, we have a nice top end. We have Swirling Torn and Biogenic Upgrade, both of which are back-breaking. We have Double Gate Colossus with six gates. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Five red sources. We have, like, what, two? One red one red card in the deck? Okay, sure. Uh, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. That's a bit much. Let's go to ten green sources. And we have one, two, three, four, five, six. Six. Seven, eight, nine. So this is nine and then ten. Yeah, that seems better. It's tricky because all of your all of your lands produce green. Every single one. This is a pretty this is a pretty good keeper. One more gate in this ram is really uh giving him the business, as the kids say. I almost played I almost went past, so I'm like, oh I might as well go to my main phase. Wait, this is a different client. Interesting. I think I just want to play a guy here. Oh, two Azorius skilled gates? Nice. Well, we're not missing a land drop here, that's for sure. And if we played this last turn, we could play the Spellbreaker this turn, but I think it's fine without. Well, that's the sound that Cat makes, and it's not really. I don't feel like it's particularly normal. Well, 
Let's go counter. You know what? Let's go counter. You know what? Let's go counter. All right. No, no attacks. Oh, let's see a real. That's good in the long term, but how many did they miss land? I wish it, there should be a turn counter. Like it should say turn four. It should say like turn four Frank, turn four greed, whoever. Because you like you kind of lose track of turns, and I'm just like, well, what? Wait, what turn is it right now? If they want to block, I guess they could double block, and we just trade with Panther. That's not great. They didn't. All right. Well, I was like, whoa, I kind of forgot about that option, but that's okay. We, we made it through. I would love a game log. I think it's just, it's it seems, it feels like it's super relevant. Especially because there's a lot going on in Magic. Like, there's one in Hearthstone, and there's more things going on in Magic than there are in Hearthstone. Really? This is how you're, this is how you're gonna be? <laughs> this is how you're gonna be? Terramander? Alright, well, that's fine. Boy. So, wait, one, two, this guy costs six. If we had one more land, this guy would actually adapt for free. We're just gonna keep playing dudes here. Uh, just attacking with this guy. They don't have enough power to triple block this guy, so. That is an interesting block. That is a fascinating block. I did not expect that. Okay, so the board is just mono one toughness bros, right? These guys cost four to adapt now. That's pretty nice. So, oh boy, this is this game's over. This is gonna be a blowout. Are you guys ready for the the amazing blowout? We could also just not do that and play... Yeah, we're definitely... Okay, no. We also just play Gyre Engineer and not... Four... So this is what, 12? They go to one? Well, that's something. Okay. I feel like we're in good shape, guys. I don't know. I'm no I'm no magic expert here, but is Rav did Ravnica come out in uh did Ravnica come out in two thousand five? <clears throat> um 
I'm going to submit. I feel like we're in good shape. I think our deck is a 25-25 Lizrog. That's pretty good. That is definitely some uh, surprise Pikachu-worthy Lizrog numbers. Those are some good stats. That Lizrog's pulling up some good stats. That guy's going to get a promotion at the end of the season. Hmm. Yeah, okay, I'll keep this. Preach magic, preach. Is that what the kids say? Preach? I don't know, I just work here. So I watched a Marshall draft. <clears throat> I watched one of Marshall's drafts on YouTube. And I noticed that he not only, he like clicks when the scorpion's over here, he clicks it and makes it scurry across the screen. And when the birds land here, he clicks those too. And I was like, that's great. For some reason, I loved it because, like, a lot of times, other pros don't really care about stuff like that. Does that make sense? Let me actually let me get a little more here. Like, they don't care about the art. Like, they don't care about which. They don't. They don't like use their favorite art. Their land arts. Like, they don't care about like. It's, it's, it's like a lot of the flavor in Magic. Like, they don't actually give a shit about. Like, it's just... that's And that's fine. Because it's like they see it as a strategy game that's gonna... Like, that's that's competitive in nature. And that's pretty much the end of it, right? This is actually a really, pretty okay draw here. Uh, let's go to this one. Let's go to this one. So, like, to interact with that, it kind of showed, like, hey, you're... It is the digital equivalent of... Yeah, I guess that's true. I guess that's a way to do that. That's fair. I actually love, yeah, I love the interactivity of, like, the Hearthstone board. So we have six mana. We can actually pump this guy. Like you do. This card's pretty busted. I think this card's actually insane in the Simic deck. We've gotten this guy... Uh, once per game now, and it's been great every time. Well, now I'm not gonna pump. This is such an e this is an early block. I don't know how I feel about these blocks. Uh, yeah, that's good enough to keep. We also don't really uh, need anything else in our deck right now. Biogenic upgrade on one of each of these is pretty ridiculous. Next turn, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. That's thirteen damage. They go to, I don't know, three. That was some that was some difficult math for you. You got it. <coughs> this is fine. I mean, we could have gotten greedy and like adapted this guy, then doubled his counters, but he doesn't have trample, so it's like cat with two heads. Thank you so much for hanging out, buddy. Really appreciate it. Click the tower to the left of the gargoyle a couple times. Oh yeah, I like this one. Yeah, the Simic. Yeah, the, the is it tower? Yeah, that's a that's a good one. And I always look for other ones too. I'm like, does this do anything? Does this? It's weird because it's like this one tower right here is the only one that does anything. Look at this big cutie. Is this cute? I don't know if thrills are cute. I don't know how that works. So if we bounce you. <clears throat> we can bounce you and like still adapt to you. Now we don't have enough. No, we don't have enough green for that. I still think we have to bounce you and then just play three four. You still take nine. You go to three. Uh, it can adapt because we have Biomancer's Familiar. So. And we can also Lizrog and just take the counters off if we really wanted to. Oh, we're going to let them block before I get to do a thing. That's fascinating. Yep, that is not what I wanted to do at all. But all right. <clears throat> 
Well, now we're... So, which one? Plus one, plus one here. Bounce this guy, sure. Ugh, that's awkward. Whatever. They play one guy, <clears throat> they block here, they take a thousand. It was October 20, 2005. Wow, nicely done, nicely done. I did not play any of the holiday stuff, and the reason was because it was competing with Vintage Cube for me. And, like, Vintage Cube always takes priority for me, so it's, like, it's really hard for me to, uh, like... There was a lot of, actually, there was a lot of deck critiques in the queue as well, and I was like, I'm going to hold off on these till the Vintage Cube is gone, because I like to maximize my number of Vintage Cubes. And I feel like any time not spend Vintage Cubing is just, what, it's just a life unlived, you know what I mean? It's just, it's, not, it's no way to live, you know? All right, <clears throat> so we can just actually straight up alpha. And that'll do, pig. That will do. I guess the greed wasn't real. <laughs> That's terrible. Oh, jeez. All right. <clears throat> Our deck is good. I feel good about it. I'm going to put some drops in these eyes. I was dead on. Wow. Perfect. That one was all right. Um, Mulligan. Keep. <clears throat> Excuse me. Do I want this? Yeah, I think so. I think that's fine. It does let us play Island into Guildgate with Gross with Gross Spiral. If we don't want to just play Gateway Plaza. Yeah, I kinda like that better. I'm gonna pass. Pass again, pass again. Don't play anything. I asked you, I literally said don't play anything. Why would you... God, it's like you don't even care. Oh, this is actually nice. <clears throat> go land into ram. Next there we can go rubble slinger and gateway plaza, which is nice. What happened to the ants? Is that why you were filling your laser eyes? <laughs> oh god. Dead. Just dead. Uh, the ants were non-existent. I was literally just seeing things that wasn't there, that, that weren't there, because... I don't know, I guess my vision is that much better now. And uh, I, I had to just refill my lazy eye, laser, 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 laser eyes for the sake of refilling my laser eyes, really. <coughs> Swenny boy, I didn't even see your resub. To think it's been four months since the first time I met you and little Michael. Send my congratulations to the birthday girl. <laughs> they grow up so fast. They really do. God, they really do. This is nice because now they don't have enough power on board to really deal with this guy. Oh, so you were on that. Yeah, sure. Let's go with that. Let's, uh... Yeah, sure. I mean, that sounds completely accurate.
<clears throat> I think this is what was happening. All right, here we go. Oh, God. Oh, I guess we just win this game. I had no idea. <laughs> I actually just watched this episode, like, last week. That's hilarious. Oh, topical Rick and Morty reference. I have ants in my eyes. I can't see anything because of the ants in my eyes. I'm just going to submit like this. <clears throat> I mean, I could see bringing in slime by, but we saw literally two cards. One of which is an 0-2, the 3-1, and a 1-3. So I guess that's three cards, so I don't know how math works. But I think three and two are close enough that, like, you know, if anybody asks me how to do math, then I, I could just kind of fake it till I make it. <clears throat> yeah, I'm not going to keep this keep this hand. Nope. Not going to not going to do that. You know what? That's fine. Oh yeah, all right. Cool. Now we're good. Now we're good. <clears throat> it's got three drop, got the four drop. <clears throat> we do need another blue source. If we can draw a gateway plaza here, that'd be just just gorgeous. It would just be a beautiful land to draw. You know what? I'll take that too. You did good, Magic. You did good, Magic, the Gathering Arena. What can we click on in here? Like, nothing, right? I don't think it's anything. I mean, you could certainly make that argument for point nine repeating and one being the same. I don't know about two and three. Yeah, you might be right. I might be pushing some creative... Creative, uh, let me take some creative liberties with that. I never told you I was drunk when I made my MTGA account, named it French Lapore. I'm not French, nor am I Lapore. Okay, so why did you. <laughs> you say FML at the end as if, like, it was something that happened to you. So, what, what was your goal there in trying to, like. Oh, that's sad. I had to sacrifice my gentleman. <clears throat> What was your end game? Do you do anything? Do we want Gates Ablaze? Ooh, Gates Ablaze might be good in this matchup, actually. I don't think you do anything. I'm sorry, I feel bad that I'm putting you on the bottom, little Liz man, but... I also love that, uh... <clears throat> what was I going to say? I love that there's an account out there named French Lapore. That's hilarious to me. Are you Frank Lapore? No, I'm French Lapore. I'm a completely different person. That people, I get this all the time. Well, you're doing... Yep, this is this is nice. We're having a good time. Interesting. Why not do that first? Fascinating. <clears throat> so this guy's going to come down next turn, which is okay. So we're going to take four and then one, which is five. So we're going to be at eight, presumably. They're missing land drops. One, two, three, four, five. Well, now we're taking more than that. We could actually just bounce both of these guys and, and buy ourselves some time. I kind of like that. Like, they're not going to hit a land drop here. <clears throat> so they're literally going to draw one of those guys again. Drunk Caspi131 does not run things by Sober Caspi131. It's a fair point. Fair point. Okay, so this guy can cost what? Like, 17 mana? Cost 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. We can't actually play both. That is sad. That strikes me as a sad. There's a Roomba vacuuming the living room right now, in case you guys hear that. Oh, boy, isn't that cute. Act of treason. And conceit. I can't even conceit fast enough. Well, <clears throat> that's just rude. 
Okay, now we're bringing in the Gates of Blaze. We can take out a, some of the small boys, uh, which we don't actually have that many of, to be quite honest. I'm going to take out the Steeple Creeper. Slime Bind could also be good, instead of like... I'm going to take out one Colossal, so we're going to Slime Bind. <clears throat> Excuse me. I think this is keepable. Two gates into a guy, into another guy. He just gets things done. Does he, though? <clears throat> Does he? Oh, they went to five? All right, well, I'll try not to, I'll try not to mind. What do we want? Do we want to play this guy on two and then nothing on three? Or no, we just want to play the three drop, right? Three drop into either Griffin or Spider is nice. And if we hit another land, we can go with seven mana so we can play both of these. There's so many removal spells in the Rakdos deck that kill this guy, though. But they did not have them. Mmm, they did not have them, you see. Alright, we're gonna play Mammoth Spider. And this is nice, because if they have the Sacrifice a Creature card, we can just sacrifice the Gaia Engineer. I do like to order off Imprint, thanks to you, for months ago. Yeah, Imprint's awesome, dude. Imprint's a great way to support content creators. Because um, a lot of times they have their own stuff up there. <coughs> um... I'm gonna keep the sneak. I don't really need anything else, so. Yeah, I feel like we're way ahead right now. We have upgrade for next turn. We have Titanic Brawl. We can pump this guy. I mean, short of them having, like. I actually don't know. They can't gates ablaze. Because they have no gates. You can't set your gates ablaze when you don't have any gates, my dude. This guy having Afterlife 2 is rough. How much do we care, though? Not not a ton, right? I don't want to be discarding, though, so I do want to keep up the, uh, the speed audio. And they can have their 1-1s. One -one, so I think that's fine. Biogenic upgrade next turn is pretty nuts. We can just go counter, counter, counter. And then double the counters on this so it gets 10 counters, so it's a 12 12. That seems like a reasonable play. Really? That's the guy you kill, not the 6-6 six, six or the 3-5. That's fascinating. <clears throat> so I'm very tempted to just like, if they're going to double block. Nope, they're not. Okay. So now we can just play Sneak in Gateway Plaza. I mean, it's not going to be unblockable, but I don't think that matters really. I think we're—I think we'll manage. Seven lands. This is—is this the is this second match that's had debtors transport? Is this card actually decent? I don't even understand. Counter, counter, counter. <clears throat> Three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, we're just gonna do it. This should be lethal. I don't have the mana for this. Wow, I'm a absolute dummy. I don't have the Geyer engineer anymore. That's sad. Afterlife two, huh? Hmm. 
Yeah, all right. Like, they have to block here, right? So that they take three, four, five, six, seven? Sure. And we get to draw a card. So now we're probably going to draw the land that we need for the biogenic upgrade. Well, technically we did. Unblockable. Seems good. And eh, we'll just play from layer here. And again, I feel like we're kind of ahead here. I'm gonna keep this hand. <clears throat> we have double gates with a gateway sneak, which is sad because I kind of just wanna... Uh, actually, we can keep one. We can go turn two this guy, turn three sneak into gate. Seems pretty good. We can also just play that guy. Are you gonna quench this? Lucky, 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 lucky. The monorod player in the constructed classic queue just gave me the year go after I stuck a Lyra. Yeah, this seems better. Because next we can go Rubble Slinger and Gate, so we can we're not like even playing off curb. Joke's on you, buddy. Okay. That's nice to have this resolve. Okay, I think we're doing all right here. Would you do an MTGO draft portion only speaking in fake Russian for $10? No, because, like, fake Russian is insulting, right? Like, it's doing, like, fake Chinese, right? <laughs> oh, my God. Caspi, why are you like this? It's like doing, like, fake Asian accent, right? Like, it's derogatory, right? Let's play this guy. You want to counter my Geyer Engineer? Yeah, I didn't think so. Look at all those cards. God. You just discard two, two, two Landies to two Landy Boys? Okay. Well, that is your choice. <clears throat> oh, that's fine. That's just fine. That's fine, too. Wow. All right, that's not terrible. I got I got way more. Oh, that's pretty good. Hey, that's pretty good. Can I just bounce these and attack for what? Four, five, six, seven, eight? I put you to two? That seems good. You know what? Let's do it. Let's do that. Uh, put on top, I'll put you on top, and I'll return you to the hand. And then we have this guy for the, for the haste next turn. So they go to three, but, I mean, they can play both guys. So they go block, block, and they take this. 
Okay. <clears throat> they will have two mana up, but I don't know if that's going to really do anything. Especially when you can't quench this, and this is also an attacker. So I think we're, I think we, I think we're in good shape here. What if you did a fake Putin accent? Then it's just derogatory for Putin, and you only need to worry about the KGB. That seems worse. I think that would still be derogatory towards Russian, right? Because it's still, he still has a Russian accent. <clears throat> Swedish chef on Sesame Street made millions doing fake accent. Do you think the Swedish chef himself made the millions? Do you think the Swedish chef is, like, collecting paychecks? Because <clears throat> that's funny if he is. The bonus deck is Demir, which is weird because... This isn't a Demir format. I don't know if they got the memo. <clears throat> Yeah, this hand seems fine. Guy or engineer on three is okay. I can deal with that. <laughs> oh god. <clears throat> oh god. Alright, let's go guild gate. Guild gato. Well, that's obnoxious. Why would you play that? Death touch is just an annoying ability. I just don't want it to exist. No, I do. I just, that was, that was death touchest of me. I apologize. Oh, man. Is it our turn three? Did they just not do anything? Or did we? No, oh, we can just pass. All right, we didn't pass yet. I was like, I thought we passed. I guess I had multiple passes because I do have something to do here, which is applied biomancy, so. Are we still? Oh, all right. Okay. Yeah, let's go to my turn. They missed the land drop? Yeah, this is not going to bode well for you. <clears throat> mm, yeah, no blocks. I don't foresee myself blocking this guy. Do they have the quench? That's the question. Let's find out. Of course they do. Never, never don't have it. What's it gonna be? Oof. Brutal. That's actually pretty good. Okay. Can't cast that though. We don't have the required manas. <laughs> Meh! <clears throat> yep, that'll do. Well, let's say no attacks, and we'll end the turn. Oh, is this how you want to be? Okay. So now we're going to go doot, doot, doot. Plus one on this guy, and bounce this guy. Yep, that's, see? This is what you get for being a jerk. Still can't cast that guy, huh? Okay. Well, the only thing we can do is play this. So maybe we'll get a red. We did not. That's okay. I think that's fine.
Oh, wow. Okay. You're like, well, I'll get it now then. <clears throat> Whatever, buddy. Deal with this guy. Oh, they're like, well, I got a 1-2 death touch that you know about. That's true. They do have that. That is true. They do. Oh, this can't be blocked, though, right? Oh, God. Well, welcome to Bonkers Town. Population this guy. Oh, boy. Yeah, that's okay. Resolves these. Pass these. Okay, well, I guess that's all it took. Alright. Do they have cards in their hand? What's even happening right now? Oh, a murder. There's been a murder in Savannah. Do we open this pack now? Let's open this pack right now. A little mid, little mid draft pack, like you do. Oh, a Nikia of the old ways. I don't. I'm surprised I don't have four of those yet. How do I go back to my draft? Oh, a treasure chest. What's happening? Ooh, ooh. I do declare there's been a murder in Savannah. There's a little office meme in case you guys didn't know. I will play first. This is a derogatory accent stream now. No! No! I'm gonna keep this hand. We've worked so hard to avoid it. behind this um so depending on what we hit here we don't have any gas we don't have any action in our hand so i kind of want to oh gate colossus is nice i didn't even see the other cards i was just like gate colossus sold sign me up you you're play tentacles deck you draft tentacles monsters is this <laughs> This is really a pet. Oh, I see. Well then, well, that's something right there. I'm gonna trade Biomancy for this guy. They're probably not gonna block. Which is just free points. Yeah, give me that. Give me them free points. Look at your little gateway sneak. Do we let you draw a card here? Are they the better gate deck? I don't know. This is tricky. We could bounce this guy. They just replay it, but they might not have a gate. Yeah, let's do that. So, they get to draw a card 
off of this guy and they get to deal damage. And so like you're basically trading whatever card they drew for the Biomancy, but you're also you're also using that tempo for something, right? Like, I mean, they have to spend their, their turn recasting this guy. Any land, we just get to go back to back Colossus, which seems pretty strong. Cyborg, you have a good night, buddy. I'm off to meet a friend for dinner. Thanks again. Yeah, anytime, dude. Really appreciate it. Thank you for the support. I actually had a great time. I thought the deck was pretty sweet, and the fact that we got to go infinite a few times was just chef's kiss. Muy bueno, as uh, Rob and I would say. Man, nothing but gates all the way down for this guy. We got six on board, and we have two Gate Colossuses in hand, so... Well, now you're just taking ten. Now, because you want to be like that... Now you're just taking ten. Are you going to be doing any drafts on MTGO? I literally just did one before this, and I also did two yesterday. So, yes, I am. Yep, that is something. What's the strongest mechanic to come from these new Ravnica sets? Uh, Surveil. I would say Surveil. Riot is also pretty good, but, like, I don't know if it has as many constructed applications. We could have waited until they had, uh, like, to, if, they, if they play one blocker and they attack with their sneak, we could just kill them. But, I don't know. I, I play more conservatively in that sense of where I'm like, I'd rather just get the sneak off the board. When they're like, yeah, alright. So, like, we wouldn't be able to brawl that guy away anyway, so. I'm going to definitely draw both of these. How many Shocklands versus Checklands you draw in a four-color control deck? I have no idea. That is not a question I can just easily answer right now off the top of my head. It also depends completely on the deck. Yeah, I figured you'd trade there, which is fine. What about in all of Ravnica sets? That's a good question. Jeez. I'm not sure I actually remember all of the mechanics in Ravnica sets. Oh, yeah, you're just having out for this nonsense. Sure. Yep, that's a thing. Oh, here we go. Now the now the wind cons are coming online. So they activate this guy. They attack for 70, 19, 11, 12. Yeah, we're not doing great here. We were doing great. Cyberdrag, have a good afternoon, buddy. Thank you so much for hanging out. Yep. So 12, we go to 1, and then we're dead on board to this. Oh, they just activated it. Yeah, that works too. That seems good. I have no idea what just happened. I feel like my life choices were, were poor. I kind of just want Thought Collapse here, to be honest. Take out the Titanic Brawl, bring in a Thought Collapse. Yeah, that seems fine. Mm-hmm. 
<laughs> Mulligan. Here we go, guys. This is where this is where the downfall starts. Yeah, all right. Seems good. Oh my god, I was like, wait, what is this? We just scried. Oh, you have that in your opening hand. Sounds good. Alright, this sort this styrofoam hybrid's gonna go the distance, I can guarantee you. There's no way we lose. This guy will win the game for us. Okay, well it's gonna have to. Oh god, being able to drop two gates here is just brutal. Yeah, that's pretty good. Well, alright. So yeah, if they can't deal with this guy for eight more turns, then I don't know how we lose. I'm going to concede. I don't feel good about this game. <laughs> Three one, three one. We got this. I went underwear shopping today. Victoria's Secret. Nothing fit very comfortably. Any idea where I can find some comfy micromodal undies? Yeah, if you guys were looking for comfy micromodal undies, you know some of the most comfy undies you can find, or if you want like a onesie or socks, head on over to meundies.com/franklapore and you'll get fifteen percent off along with free shipping and free returns. I'll keep this hand. Any land for this guy is good. We get to uh, we got three drops. Come on, Gruel Guild Gate. I'll even take a Gateway Plaza. You know what? I'll take even that. Cement Guild Gate? You know what? I will take it. It lets me play three drops. I'm alright with it. Yeah, we'll play this guy. Got nothing else to do. I feel like it's slipping away, guys. We got five drop and a six drop here, and nothing else. No blocks. Well, oh, that's nice. Um. Yeah, I guess we're just playing this guy in passing. Do I have any holes in my socks? I actually don't. All my socks are pretty nice. No, still no locks. Alright, so we need a red. We don't have any reds. We can just play Giz Liz Lizrog? Gizrog? Lizzie McGizzy? We can also just play Familiar and keep up Brawl? Let's play this guy, and we can actually float. We can keep up float, right? Because it costs two to float? Yeah, that's pretty good. Alright, we'll just pass. No attacks, not all attacks. Come on, man. Yeah, I think we're just going to bounce and, and block. The old bounce and block, that's a classic. Yep, that's fine. They might actually forget that we can activate this.
don't know if they forgot, but it was still worked out for us. I'd love to hit a red land. And go Spellbreaker into keep up applied biomancy. Dead rebels for one dude? That's not. It's not terrible. What happens if we hit a land here though? Like, eh, it's not great. I want to play Lizrog here. I just. I feel like we just need three drop on board and then Biomancy next turn if we hit a land. So they're going to play a land, right? All right, seems good. They're going to play Grasping Thrall. Is that what it's called? Oh. late to the party. If only there was a, an efficient green card that could get rid of Ethereal Absolution. If only there was a card that existed in this format, like a card that, like a green card that could get rid of enchantments. Wow, I wonder what that would, that would be. That seems like it would be really good. I wonder if they could put that, I wonder if they could make something like that. Like a green, like, is that possible? A green card that gets rid of enchantments? That feels like it'd be good. I'm pretty sure it's one of the strongest limited cards in the set, yes. I will keep this hand as well, sure. Two gates into, uh, into the Rammy boy. I'm tempted to skip a turn skip turn two and just play uh just yeah we're just gonna do that if we hit a blue it also lets us play senate griffin and we did and this guy costs six now it's okay. I'm 100% blocking if they attack with the Oligarch. They did not attack with the Oligarch. I'm pretty sure we're just going to keep... We have 6-drop, six 6-drop, six 6-drop six in hand. Now we're going to keep any land. If it's a gate, it's even better. Spellbreaker is actually not terrible. We have red. This guy's pretty bad, though. Hmm. I can put it on the bottom. I'd rather just get closer to playing these guys. We already have a card if we don't. If we hit a land, we still have a thing to play next turn. Uh, I'm, I'm, an, I'm on board for no attacks here. I don't really feel like trading a Gatebreaker Ram for a Twilight Panther. Everything is terrible. Thanks so much for these sub. Our sub baby is one month old, and boy, does it drink a lot of milk. Does it? Wow. I'm really glad you've taken the reins on this, uh, on the child rearing here, because I, I've been busy streaming, so. Yep. Well, I don't want to attack again, because then they just double block with, like, one, two, two. They can just triple block here, and then we get to kill, like, the two, one, and the two, three. And then they get two, one, one flyers, uh, or they just trade here, which doesn't seem great. Unfortunately, they've really got us covered on the ground here, in the air as well. We need a new planar cast to get that green disenchant. Yeah, it's weird that I'm trying to go so far outside of the color pie, but... Here we are. This is where they just play Ethereal uh, Absolution. No,
You know what? Sure. Well, we can cast any land, and we can cast any... Or not cast. Uh, a land lets us cast anything, and we have spells for days, so... I guess I should have played around the Carnarium somehow. Yep. Yep. So neither of those guys can block this, and we can actually just... Do we just Biogenic Upgrade on this? Six counters, it's a two-turn clock. I guess we can do that next turn, right? Like, this actually makes it so they can't... This should actually win the game. Yeah, like, if they, if they just tap out for those same two guys, then we're just... It's just over. Yep. That'll do, pig. Got him? <laughs> uh, I thought Carnium exiles all creatures that died that turn. Wow, I, you're right, actually. It should have. Huh. That's interesting. Yeah, it literally says any creatures that died this turn. Exile all creature cards in all graveyards that were put there from the battlefield this turn. So it should have exiled them after, like you cast it, and it should exile the creature. Wow. Did they already have a 2-1? I don't think they already had a 2-1 in the graveyard, right? That's weird. I feel like I have to, we have to miss something, right? Uh, this is definitely a keeper. And they mulliganed. On the play. I'm okay with all the things that are happening. If we hit a land, we're definitely going to play Growth Spasm Spiral. If we don't hit a land, we're probably just going to play 2-drop and a 3-drop. Hmm. Well. I think we can still play this guy. I'm just gonna block. If you want to give this guy death touch, it's fine. Like I mean, this guy's always gonna trade with our worst guy, and like, it's whatever. So we can go one, two. No blocks. That's a bold strategy. Let's just keep playing creatures that can get past both of these guys. They have missed quite a few land drops. It's gonna cost six now. Still six. Okay. Um, that got us one closer. Like, I, playing, being able to play one of these and when they have very few lands is not, uh, not terrible. And by that I mean it's pretty good. This is where, this is where they play Seraph of the Scales. Oh, they didn't play anything. This is awkward because it, like, it literally makes it so like. This guy costs five, but we have to use one of our five. Can we just add a body to the board and then play upgrade next turn? I 
Yeah, I like that better. Mm, no attacks. Like swirling torrent next turn if if this is their if this is their board is pretty good. They also didn't have any play on turn. Sure. Okay. Yeah, we can just put both these back. Attack for five. Would you please say hello to my girlfriend, Jocelyn? She is visiting from Canada. Does she go to a different school? And they still have one up. I definitely want to make sure we get this down. So I also want to... Yeah, we'll just play both of these guys. That seems good. How about no attacks? Okay, so they get to kill one thing, and it's not going to be this guy. Yeah, this just feels like... And this guy could have only built 14 if we put all counters on it, so it's not really like... Where they go block, block, they take 13, and then when they, we still have three creatures on board. Unless they have final payment. Final payment would be very good. We could have actually gone all in on that. Yeah, that's true. And then they would have had to block one. That's a good point. Okay, well, they just didn't want to. They're like, you know what? It's fine. I'll just accept. I'll, I'll accept my fate. Yeah, that's okay. I, uh... Oh, a Zatalpa. Okay. Okay. All right, we got one more win. This is it. Last round to, uh... Decides the fate of the universe. Nah, this hand's bad. This hand's also bad, but we get to scry and we get a two drop and a incubation. If there's a land on, oh, keep it. Let's try to hit a gruel spell up. Oh, wow, five lands. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, if we did it last turn, we would have hit five lands as well because the next six cards were lands. So I guess literal. Just let me just discard this literal blank. One of those lands would have been nice. We could have sent it, Griffin. <laughs> No attacks in the turn. I think we're I think we're gonna have to settle for a four two here, guys. 
Not feeling good about it. I stand corrected. I'm okay with this. That was all right. That was a that was a trade we needed. Still at a point where you just want lands for this and for both of these and all the things. Rude. Yep, take four here. Alright, now we're still uh, feeling a little behind now. Now we can double block here at least. Never get rares. Well, sometimes you get rares, I guess. Okay, you got two lands in hand. Or you got two, two cards in hand. Yeah, I'm just gonna block here. Sure. This is rough because we're taking three, four, five now. Hmm. Yeah. What's the temperature outside? So when I go get some food, I'd like to know what I'm dealing with here. Fifty seven? Good lord. Oh, uh, yeah, no blocks here. So we're at basically, they got. F we're basically at six. Now we're basically at two. This card's just gonna kill us. 57 Frank basically lives on the sun. Yeah, it's close. They used to call me a sun dweller. That was back in... Yikes. So they shoot us for one, two, and then four, right? So what do we do about that? I actually don't think we can win this game. I'm probably just going to scoop here. We don't have any life gain, so this is probably just going to kill us. Negative five in Wisconsin. That actually seems warm compared to some other some other parts. <laughs> Boy, I'm getting real tired of these enchantments that I just don't have any way to deal with as a green deck. Autumn Wings, what's going on, buddy? Long time no see.
Uh, snap keep. Yeah, this hand's great. Oh, they went to six. I'm okay with it. Yeah, I'm a big Crushing Canopy fan. That card's one of my favorite cards. Oh, wow. This is great. Now we can play this. This guy next turn, and then the Ram the following turn is a 5-5. Five, five. Wow, that's bonkers. Ew. I might just block here. I want to minimize the power on board so that the Gatebreaker gets through. Have you watched any of the Oscar contenders for best picture? I've, I've watched a lot of them. Let me see best picture contenders. I don't want to say a lot of them. It might be, it might be a couple of them. Um, I saw Vice. I haven't seen A Star Is Born yet. I saw Black Panther. I also saw Black Klansman, which was amazing. Um, yeah, actually, I saw Bohemian Rhapsody, I saw A Quiet Place. Yeah, I'm just gonna play the five five instead of the three four, even though it's less mana efficient. And if we draw another land, we can play both of these next turn. But I'd rather just we still got plays for days. Uh, Bohemian Rhapsody was fantastic. The thing I said about after I saw Bohemian Rhapsody was you, a lot of times you watch movies where people are portraying other people and you can kind of tell, right? Like you're looking at it and you're like, hey, this is this this is this is actor portraying this person. And I can, I can tell. But when you watch Remy Malek portray Freddie Mercury, like I couldn't tell. There was a... There was a part where I was like... like I mean, the whole movie. Like at the end of the movie where I was like... Oh, wait, that wasn't actually Freddie Mercury. And it gets kind of surreal. It's very impressive. It's a very impressive performance. Uh, okay. Well. Sab. Would you rather your feet be permanently cold or have a pimple on your neck that just comes back no matter what every morning? That's a good question. Uh, probably the pimple. The reason being, like, I can still pop it every morning. It's obnoxious, but there's, like, things you can do about that. Whereas, like, having to wear socks all the time or, like, you know, it's just, there. that seems more obnoxious to me. I think they're dead. I'm not going to do the math here. I'm just going to... Okay. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, this is fine. I'm just going to assume I kill you. Nailed it. Totally nailed it. Use more of these because I'm. Come on, let's go. Uh, yeah, this is a keeper. If we can draw some gates, it's great. Otherwise, we got tons of things to do. They let me play first? Wow. Alright, cool. Well, kitty cat. Ugh, then I get all, I get all for clumped. Ugh, it's so sad. Mm -hmm. 
Give me a gate. Oh my god, I just can't ask for anything more. Oh, that was like I thought it was I thought we were at the end of the turn there. Oh god, that guy's brutal. Next, these flicking syringes. Wow, this got real dark. So you're just attacking with this guy? No, I'm good. Got it. Three, four... It's so stupid. I guess it's fine. Oh, that's cool. Real mature. I'm just going to drop 3 3 here. Like, I don't even feel like. We're gonna know attacks you. I need a haircut. I'm probably gonna go get a haircut. Maybe I'll get one this week. Let me message right now and try to get a haircut this week. Wow, that's exciting. I just got I was like, wait, I can just do it this week. Hold on. Hold on, opponent. Hold on, everyone playing Magic the Gathering. Yeah, I'm just going to no blocks this guy. I'm never going to block this thing if I don't have to. Um, uh, yeah, sure, this guy. One substance abuse unicorn buck. Wow, I don't even know. Huh. That's something right there. One more and you can get a 40. <laughs> oh, God. Do I just Swirling Torrent here and just hold them back a little bit? I don't want them to replay this. I guess we can just play Ram here and not really... It's just a 3. If we draw a gate, it's just so good. Like, we get a 4-4 four, four, and then we get to play Gate Colossus. And, like, none of their creatures on board except for Juggler get to deal with the Gate Colossus. You should get a subscription on your barber so you can go each week knowing what. Um, I actually, well, mustache hair is ever. I don't. But I trim my own mustache, so I don't really have to worry about that. Like, I have my own grooming. I have my own grooming products. I don't only get shaved in mustaches, like, when I, when I go to the barber. Thor Hoffman, thank you so much. You are also that. So they can go block here, block here. Eh. Actually, Rubble Slinger is a card. I will gladly trade for a Twilight Panther if they want to do that. Yeah, my 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 facial hair would look much less kempt if uh if I only got it groomed when I went to a barber. Like that would not be ideal. This is problematic. I'm not thrilled about it. Yeah, I think we're losing this game. Luck. 
lucky, 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 lucky. Well, that is unfortunate. I don't want to bounce this guy because, like, when they replay it, it just deals two more damage. So, no, oh, that's actually a good, that's a good solution. Do they have something? I think we're stuck in 4-2. Wow. Yeah, that's pretty good. I think we have died. Not feeling good about our chances here. I don't think there's any single card in our deck that really turns this game around in any, any foreseeable way. Okay, so... What is this, three, four, six, seven, eight? We go to two? Yeah, totally reasonable. What could they have that kills us at two life? Basically nothing. Yeah, we had a good run. Oh, that that's literal the both of these do it. Yep. Alright, so we're gonna go we're gonna go to concede. Four two. Not terrible. Not the best. Not terrible. I accept it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Really appreciate it. Let's open these packs. And if you're watching on YouTube, be sure to slam those like and subscribe buttons. You can also check out Twitch and Patreon. Both of the links are in the description below. You can also... Wow, that's the second one we opened today. Out of all the rares in the set, when you open two rares, two of the same rare in two back-to-back -back packs, it seems really unlikely. Um, you can also check out MeUndies.com slash where you will get 15% off and free shipping so you know you go to check out and you're like ah, it's gonna be like $12 shipping all these underwear I'm buying like 30 pairs of underwear it's gonna be like $30 shipping no it's free meundies.com slash Frank Lepore oh Bedevil is a nice one alright and thank you guys so much for watching really appreciate it slam those like and subscribe buttons I will check you out next time thank you so much love you guys